Well, welcome. Um, our project is on refugees and migrants coming to the United States. So we have six different identities. Um, each identity, identity has a background and reason to is why they're coming to the United States. So you're going to pick an identity. Um, you're going to take the name tag, put the name tag on, read your identity. Um, after you're done reading your identity, you're going to take three different resources you feel is going to help you on your journey. We're going to give you money and two articles of clothing. Um, at the bottom of your identity card, there's a number. The number is going to be what lane you are put in. You are a person who has the most education, most likely, and the only thing you're missing is a person that wants to hire you. You just need a sponsor. So your worst case scenario is people want you to work for them, but they don't want to pay for your visa, so you're going to get deported just because, just because no one wants to pay for you to be here, and you're going to be here illegally. So you'll either be working for free, which you have education, so why would that happen to you, or someone will pay for your um, documents to be paid. In this case, it's all fate, so RJ is going to determine your fate at the spinner. So we're going to have Brian spin the wheel for us. Uh, whatever color it lands on determines how much of a chance you have of making it to the United States. Okay. And the different results are right here. Alright. Let's spin. <laughs> I need this. Green. No, that's alright. It's alright. Oh my gosh, no, I got really excited. Blue. Blue. To return to Portugal. Hi, what was your outcome? Blue. It was blue? Yep. And I'm what's that? Returning to Portugal to start my company. Wow, yeah, so that means you need to make it to the United States. <laughs> it's okay, it's totally fine though. Um, we're gonna let you in anyways. Um, actually, you have one of the better identities. Um, he actually has two good outcomes rather than just having one good outcome. So you could have landed on green and I think yellow and it would have been, you would have came into the United States legally. But unfortunately you're going to come in illegally and you're going to see how it is to be treated as an illegal immigrant in the United States and I'm going to have you go to the I don't care what he is, all he does is steal our, our jobs and our money. Like he's probably going to do something really great, maybe create a new program, create new jobs. Probably generate revenue, re re revenue for the United States economy. Bro, all he needs is Google Translate. That's how he gets by in America. No. I can't understand a word he's saying. You can't. You can't live in the United. States. You can't live in any country that's not your home country that doesn't speak the same language. Just, without just no. send him back. I don't want him here. So we have a couple of solutions down here, and you're just gonna read them out, or out, you don't have to read them out loud. You can read them ahead if you want. Okay. Just the bottom part. So, how do you feel about that? Um, like going through the presentation and everything, it, it brought a different light into it because it's one thing to hear about it in a tech or uh, in like CNN or something like that, but it's another thing to actually live through it. So, it, yeah, actually, in my opinion on it has grown stronger in a way. So, um, I, I definitely agree with it. I strongly agree with it. Strong. Yes. I gotta get more red stickers. Oh, yay. Uh, so I'm gonna give you this red sticker, and it's gonna represent that fiery passion of yours. You're gonna put it here? Here? Yes. And now you're gonna go to Chris, he's gonna explain the whole simulation, and then remember that fiery passion you have, and maybe write it out in advocacy. Okay. So this is a petition for Congress to pass the Clean Dream Act. The Clean Dream Act is protecting those who came here, um, who came to America as small children, and this is the only place that they know, and it's protecting them because this, they speak English, they know America, and this actually is their home, and America shouldn't send them back to Mexico or wherever they actually belong because 
they are on that. So this is the actual petition that you fill out. Um, you fill out your name, where you're from, and your schooling address, and it'll send it to your um, senator or congressman. And then after you're finished that, if you feel like getting your hands dirty, you can put your hand in some paint and put your hand on this print, and we'll walk around with it at 3.30 to 4.30 for the walk.